this is a full neo guy neos are actually pretty easy if you just take the time to like practice and get good at them uh although practice is obviously the most important factor there are a few tips that i could give that are going to make your learning experience a lot faster and once you get there more consistent the first thing i'm going to talk about is air strafing air strafing is basically where you turn your camera while you're strafing like in the air while wow, air strafing what newsflash but you can't just like strafe in the air you have to also turn your camera in sync with the strafing so you, you what you're looking for is like a nice gradual motion of like if i let me go a little higher get a bigger scale a nice gradual like turning motion in the same like speed that you're strafing so if we go up to our neos up here and we do this basically you want to angle yourself so that you're not going to hit the block and then once you're past it you want to just air strafe and do that same thing where you're kind of gradually turning at the same time that you're holding either a or d for some reason it's always been easier for me to go around on this side and i don't know why it's just like more natural but a lot of people find it easier to go around on this side and it's not actually harder it's just like a mental thing I do recommend learning to do it both ways though, even if you're more comfortable with one way. Because if you're learning this to do it in game, then it's just going to be like a mess on a bridge and there's just going to be an opportunity for you to do it. And you're probably only going to be able to do it one way because it's just going to be like a, a mess and you just like see a Neo. And if you're learning this to for like parkour courses, then oftentimes they'll block one side or they'll just be they'll just force you to do it one way. So try to learn to be comfortable both ways. Back to air strafing, technically it is possible to do it without turning your camera if you just like strafe really hard. And the same goes with moving your camera. You don't technically have to strafe if you move your camera a lot, but it's just the easiest method is just to air strafe and get that nice smooth motion of jumping, strafing, and turning your camera all at the same speed. So back to like the uncomfortable scenarios, oftentimes you won't have all this room to like set up and angle yourself. You'll have to do it quickly and also maybe like if you're in a game, you're just going to need to do a Neo or they'll have some like drop down in the parkour course where you have to go down and then do a Neo. And so how you want to handle that is you want to go right up to the block here so that you're, you're shifting at the edge. Unshift and then you want to do something that's called jamming where basically you want to press your W and spacebar key at the exact same time you want to lift your hand up and kind of like let your hand fall down onto both the keys at the same time uh and you kind of want to jam them in that's why it's called jamming but you don't want to tap it like i'm doing here you want to hold it and then also apply the principle that we learned earlier of air strafing once you're past the block don't air strafe too early like before you've jumped or you'll just hit the block and you won't actually get around once you pass the block that's when you want to start air strafing around it now double neos are pretty similar the only problem is they're just like a lot farther. So it's a lot harder to do when you're really close up. You're going to almost always, for me at least, you're going to need some sort of setup. The trick to doing it is landing right on the edge of this block here, like right on the edge, because obviously that's where you're going to get the most momentum. That's where you're going to go the farthest. It is a lot harder though. Uh, the same principle goes once you're past the first block, you need to start air strafing towards this. Don't try to like go past both and then start air strafing or you won't have enough momentum to land like that. Uh, so you're kind of going to be sliding along it. You're kind of going to be like sliding along these two blocks as you do the jump. But once again, in, in game, you're almost never going to actually come across a double Neo where it's going to be like useful for you to do it. Almost never. And if you're doing it for parkour, really try to learn exactly where you need to jump on the edge of this block to land it uh what's really important is the angle that you start at i've found that if you look at the bad line in the top looking just a little past halfway is what works for me most so like half like in between this this line up here at the top of my screen and this line looking in between those is where i like to jump to land the double neo and then the dreaded triple neo triple neos suck and i i don't really understand how professional parkour people do it consistently there's a really, there's a specific coordinate you have to look at, but I have a different method. You just kind of, you want to hype yourself up and then you just, you know, okay, just made it. Okay. And I just, you know, I just did all those triple neos. No, in all honesty, I actually have no idea how people do these consistently. Uh, this is the farthest neo that anyone can do 
without glitches. Technically, there's actually a glitch which I've been interested in where you can get stuck in the block, like on the edge, and you can just run along it and you can do an infinite Neo. But other than that, this is technically possible. You just need uh, kind of an exact setup, like a really exact setup. Like you have to be a certain amount of blocks away and you have to be like, your yaw and pitch have to be like exactly right. And then there are a few trick Neos, like the diagonal Neo, which just, I would just suck. Just when I see this in a parkour course, I, I throw up. Oh my gosh. Because like this goes out farther. So you have to really just learn where the, um, where like the edge of this is so that you don't get hit. But at the same time, obviously you like, you can't go out too far. So you really have to air strafe more and jump out farther than a double Neo. So it, after doing a lot of double Neos, your muscle memory is going to hit into this wall a lot. So you just have to practice. And then even more disgusting than the diagonal Neo, there's like the weird like glass Neos. And then sometimes they get like waterlogged glass involved. So, okay, just the... Uh, uh. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. If you really want to get good, you need to practice, uh, especially if you're going to do parkour course practice like right beforehand. But this doesn't take very long to set up. So just set up one of these and just keep practicing until like you feel like you're ready for the actual parkour course. I didn't record natural for this video, so here's a picture of a poodle wall from Venezuela I found on Google. Okay, bye.